Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, Ark is a game where you tame a bunch of dinosaurs. Everybody who plays Ark knows that if you're into dinosaurs, uh, well, that's kind of the thing that you want. But in order to tame them, a lot of times it's not the easiest. It's not the, uh, I mean, it's... Sometimes it's a lot of work to actually tame your favorite dino. Now, uh, today we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of taming pens that's, or, well, the taming pens that will actually help you tame just about every single dino in Ark. And they'll do it very efficiently, very effectively. A lot of them aren't pretty, but uh, yeah, I mean, they do get the job done. And that is what's important, is getting the job done. It doesn't have to be, you know, a work of a uh, masterpiece. It doesn't have to be something specific towards that dino. These are all general use taming pens that will get the job done as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So today we're going to be talking about three general use ones that'll tame the majority of everything in Ark and three not so general use ones for the other ones that these three just won't tame. Now, the taming pen behind me is a very general use taming pen. This one right here will get the job done very, very quickly, very efficiently. And this one right here is generally my go-to for just about most different things. We're going to be talking about a couple other ones um, as well. But this one right here is just, this is a very general use taming pen. Uh, the taming pen, you can use this for theories, rexes, uh, all sorts of things. Uh, just remember that the amount of walls that you use on the side or in this this case doorways um it does matter some things can step over a uh, too high uh taming pin so you want to put up a third layer of doors up uh, doorways up top so where it can actually uh not walk out of it because that's the important part is that you take something that's wild on the outside you put it inside you shoot it and you won't have to worry about getting eaten in the process it's very efficient. All right, so this is how we build it. Now, um, I'm gonna um, demonstrate how to build this by adding on a second little bit because a lot of times when you put these out in the wild, um, you put them in a spot where you wanna tame more than one thing. And with this setup, you can actually tame many things all at once because there's two different chambers on it. And we're gonna be adding the second chamber just to show you how this is done. So uh, what you do, you take your doorways, you line off exactly where you want your taming pin to go with fence foundations. Just going out like this, just simple snap. It really helps if you uh, um, have extremely flat ground. That's the important part. All right, so uh, for the outside layer, all you do is just line the doors. Just too high. Uh, it, like I said, if you want to go tame like something like a spino, you have to go three high. Uh, Rexes sometimes can step over it, so you want to go three high with that as well. Uh, but anything uh, smaller than a Rex, a two high is generally uh, just, uh, just as good. And I put this in the wrong spot. So we get that like that. And then from here, all you do is take this, snap it right to the um, frame, go like that. Now remember, if you're using doorways, um, you can't actually just take and put these on. I mean, you can over here, but see, right like this, you can't. But if you take and you put pillars in it, then that all of a sudden, it gives it foundation support. So we could actually go and we could take it and we can put it right there. All right, so the ramp is to where the dino has a place to follow you and run up in. Just like that. All right, so uh, now just to demonstrate how this works. Come here. All you do is just take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Really, dude? Dude, you're going to aggro my Onic, man. Really? Really? All right, sometimes they will aggro onto the pen and it, uh... Dude, you're embarrassing me. All right, well, here's another one. The other one decided not to cooperate, so he's going to be taking a nap for a little bit. All right, come here. All right, so all you do is just get something chasing you. Okay, apparently he was too low level. All right, you get something chasing you. 
And then you run and you sprint. Run right up inside of here. And you just lure it right in. And then you just knock it out at your leisure. It really is that efficient. That effective. Just remember, if you're taming fairies in this, uh, they can damage stone. So, yeah. But, yeah. Works very, very well. All right. Now, let's get on to the next one while this guy uh, thinks about what, you know, his life choices. And then, yeah. All right. Let's get on to the next one. And you deserve what you got. All right, now this next one is almost the exact same as the one before, only this one is built on a raft. And it makes it um, so where instead of having it placed in one certain spot and looking for just the flattest area, you create your flat area and then you can just drive this wherever you want along water, pull it right up along the side of uh, the river or the ocean, and then just knock out whatever you want. Well, you uh, go aggro what it, whatever you want, you lure it into the trap, and then you use it to uh, um, knock out whatever you want while it's inside the trap. And it's really easy. It changes the way you play quite a bit. But the easiest way to actually build one of these things is you line up your uh, um, foundation um, how you want it. There's a certain spot right here. Matter of fact, let me pick this up uh, just where you can see. Um, you want to line it up right like this, where it's just on the inside of this beam. I've already got this one perfectly lined up, so I don't want to pick that one up. And all you do is go like that, like this, like this. And you want to kind of coat this with, uh, um, foundations just so where they don't beat the crap out of the raft while you're, um, taming them. It, it does help quite a bit. All right, now, also, you want to make sure that you leave the rudder right here, um, without a foundation on it. I mean, you can do it, but I just find that if you just leave it like that, you can just come right here and it's just so much easier. Just get on the raft and start driving it. It makes it a lot easier when you don't cover it. All right, so now uh, we're going to take and we're going to line up. These on it. Put the doorways and there we go, and we've got a taming pen. Now all we have to do is take these. Now since it is on the raft and we're using foundations, we don't have to use um, pillars for the uh, doorway. So we just go like this. And there we go. Now we can take this raft and we can just drive it around wherever we want. And wherever you want to uh, tame something, all you do is just go right up to the edge of the water and you just beach it. And that way there, it creates a ramp that you and whatever you want can just run right up it. You run right through it, and you can just knock out whatever you want. These are great for thylas and dire bears and uh, other tames like that. Now, if you want to use it for aloes and stuff, just add an extra, um, an, an extra layer of the doorways. And then uh, you need an extra layer of uh, stairways. And it works really, really well for... Yeah, just wherever you need it. It is a little bit smaller. I saw that. And yeah, but it gets the job done. It gets the job done very efficiently, very effectively. And that's what this video is all about. How to do it in a generalistic way. Um, because these ones right here, they will tame most everything that you can uh, tame in Ark. And they'll do it easily. All right. Now, this next trap is actually uh, it's more specialized. This one is for flyers or more specifically for Argents. Uh, you can actually fine tune this one dependent on what you need it for, for Tapajars, uh, for Pteranodons. If you need to, you don't really need to trap a Pteranodon. You just bolo it. Um, or you could use it for a Tropio, all sorts of things. Uh, you put the, um, ca or the turret at the end of it and then you use that for the uh, um, Tropio. Um, but yeah, for Argens, this one is actually pretty easy. All you do is just line up a bunch of uh, the dino gates, and then you have one uh, uh, one gate at the end that opens and closes, and then this right here, you just put some pillars at the back. Because while a uh, Pteranodon can easily slip through this, Argens can't. Argens are bigger than Pteranodon. So let's take and just lure one in. Come on, dude. All right, all you do is just take... Yeah, come on. All right, you're a bit slow on the uptake there, dude. And all you do is just lure it. And you can actually, if depending on how close you are to the Argent, you can actually, um, just by slowly dragging it, you can drag an Argent all the way across the map if you want to like this. And all you do is just take it like that. Come over like this. 
Uh, well, okay. So I was a bit slow on the uptake on that one on my side. All right, but yeah, you just lure it in. Just like this. Uh, you can keep his aggro like that. And while he's aggro... You just go like that. And now we got to run right back up the side. All right. Now he's trapped inside there. And we can uh, knock him out freely at our will. It's really, really easy. And this trap right here will uh, actually get you pretty dang far um, when it comes to taming Arjuns. You have your pick and chip. Um, you have your pick of the litter when it comes to being able to pick any Arjun along the mountain. You can spy, see, get the best high level ones, the best ones you like the look of, anything like that. Lure them in there, knock them out. Once you're done, cryopod them, open up the doors, and get another one. It's really, really simple. All right, now, much like the other one, this one right here is a bit more specific. Really, dude? All right, this one right here is specifically for tamed Rhino and Natha, those little dudes over there. And matter of fact, that's actually the one I tamed and I let go and just let run around on my map. Uh, yeah, all right. So this one right here, it's got multi-use, well, multi-chambers. Now, this one right here, it takes a lot more uh, construction materials uh, to craft. But once you do, it's going to be really, really good. You can use this to tame just about anything as well. And once you have it set up on a server, it's going to help you out tremendously. Now, there is here. Let me show you. Close that one right there. This one right here is the start of one chamber. All right. Now, if you want, you can actually take and you can block off this chamber as well. So where you can have the Rhino and Natha trapped inside one little bit, and then you take and you put whatever dino you're going to impregnate over in this section, and then you lock this door. Oh, or you pick up stone. You lock this door right here, and then once that's uh, um, once everything is completely set up, you open this door, you let the Rhino and Natha um, get at this creature over here after you've damaged the Rhino and Natha, and then it'll come over, it'll impregnate it. Once it does that, it'll try to run off into either section, whichever section it runs off into. All you do is just move the dino that you uh, got impregnated over to the other section, and then lock the door, and then load up this, then take the pregnant dino out, and then you can load up another dino inside here. So the Rhino Natha never has a chance to flee. It's really, really uh, effective. If you want to see this trap in action, I have uh, my arc basics of Rhino Natha about how to use it, and then, and then also how to uh, do that. Um, yeah, it's all it's live on my basics in the playlist, and uh, yeah, hopefully that helps you out. All right, this trap right here, it may not look like much, but it is extremely effective at getting gigas and car um, carcarodontosauruses. Uh, this trap right here, now what? how you operate this trap, I really didn't bring this stuff with me. I probably should have, but I have it on my Arc Basics for Giga and for Karcha. Matter of fact, for the Arc Basics Karcha, I use this specific trap for it. Uh, now, uh, what you do is you uh, have an extra... Uh, one of these uh, metal uh, dino gates in your inventory and then you take and you put a bear trap right down here Now what you do you uh, take and you lure a giga or a karcha inside of it It activates the bear trap and then you carefully come over and you place another one right back here So it cannot flee now once uh, um, You have it inside there if it's a giga you just knock it out It takes a long time, but you can totally do it now on the karcha You have to drag things to it let it eat once you have enough, you remove this back one over here, and then you go on a wild killing spree, and then you tame the Karcha that way. And then the final taming pen, this one right here, you can use for Hyenodons. Well, really any kind of passive tame. I developed this one just for Hyenodons, but um, you can actually take this, make it bigger, uh, go with a 2 by 3 um, for Shadow Mains, and that one works out quite as well. You have to go a little bit higher on the, on the walls. But uh, you can use this for just about any kind of passive tame that you need to. And it is really easy how it works. Um, really, all it is is a bunch of walls set up. Well, the foundations go like this. Uh, you have foundation over here. You have foundation over here. You have ceilings go around like this. And then you have a fence foundation that blocks off right here. See the fence foundation right here on the edge? 
Uh, yeah, that right there, that blocks off. And since Ark has a, a, a bit of a wonky line of sight, the fence foundation blocks off anything within the pen from being able to see you underneath the um, ceilings that we're ducking under. So you can get up close, you can uh, pet them, you can uh, feed them, you can give them their fish, anything like that. And this one right here, basically, it's just a passive taming pen. And it works out really, really well. All right, so I think that's probably going to do it for the video. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the list of uh, taming pens. I really do. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.